and welcome to another Instrument Choice support video. In this video, we'll walk through the features and demonstrate how to perform a simple concrete moisture measurement using the IC CME5 Concrete Moisture Encounter. Features of this meter include a large analog dial with three measurement scales. The top red scale is a moisture content scale for concrete from 0 to 6%. The middle scale is a comparative scale for gypsum floor screed from 0 to 10 and a reference scale from 0 to 100. The hold button, this button freezes the meter reading on the dial. Three LEDs, these are a Bluetooth indicator, a hold indicator and a power indicator. The power button and the Bluetooth button. The sides of the meter are grooved for better grip. On the back of the unit are the spring-loaded electrodes and the battery compartment with pre-installed batteries. Press the power button to turn the meter on. The power status LED indicator will light up. This LED remains on until the concrete moisture encounter, the CME5, automatically powers off or is switched off. To freeze a moisture reading on the analog dial, press the hold key during a measurement. The corresponding hold LED will flash and the measurement will remain on the screen. To release the hold setting and resume taking measurements, press the hold button a second time. The hold LED will stop flashing and the dial will come active once again. To learn how to use the Bluetooth function on this unit, see the link in the video description. When taking measurements, ensure that all of the electrode spring-loaded pins are entirely compressed. Once they are compressed, a measurement will appear on the screen almost instantly. Putting these functions into practice, we'll take a simple concrete moisture content percentage measurement. Ensure the meter is turned on and pressed down onto a dust-free bare concrete surface. The measurement appears on the screen instantly. To freeze the reading, press hold. The hold indicator flashes and the measurement remains on the screen for easy recording of results. Repeat the same and take a number of tests in close proximity to each other, as the distribution of moisture tends to become erratic as the concrete dries out. Use the highest reading. For more information on this meter, including details on how to contact an instrument choice scientist about this meter, see the links in the video description. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.